What's up, everybody? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. Today is Friday, November 6th, 2020. And we have done it in the Splinterlands. We've done it. We've accumulated our 850 credits. $850 worth of credits. Damn! Ready to go in the Splinterlands to get ourselves some of this sweetest land. But look, can we? Will we? Look at this. 35 people have signed up for a region. And that's $7,500. Dude. People are going to be jamming on this pre-sale. Only 27 regions are going. Only 30 regions are available total in this pre-sale. And, but only 27 are going in this lottery. So that means five, six, seven, eight people and me and everybody else is trying to get plots and shit, tracks and shit, are going to be fighting over the remaining three regions what in the hell so we got the money we got the funds i scrounged up i sold all my hive liquidated i sold all my eth liquidated turned it into credits 850 dollars that's a lot of goddamn money but i'm doing it we're doing it we're going in trying to get some land in one day and 52 minutes we're gonna be clicking away baby click 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 get get get, get hey, 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 hey. we're gonna see what happens man hopefully we can get up in there we do have a quest today a water quest to get it people are jamming dude i hope i can hop up in there because you know the longer you wait the more you gotta spend and who the hell wants to do that that sucks i'll probably wind up buying some plots though not gonna lie like they're, they're 10 bucks the plots are 10 bucks in this pre-sale but then they go up to 12 bucks on the 28th of november so for that that's not a huge deal i'll still probably uh pop up and pick up a couple plots on the 28th if I can. Now I, I know that they're limiting the region sales to 27 people, and then the remaining three regions everybody's got to fight over. But how many plots? How many tracks? How many whatever can you buy? I know I read the article, but I don't remember if they said that. How many? Hopefully, not a lot, dude save some for the plebs save some for us the little dudes we need some love man love me little man needs some love so it's good this splinterlands did that though thank you for that now we just gotta rush the gates storm the gates and try to get in on the, the Splinterlands land sale. And uh, hopefully we don't forget about it. <laughs> hopefully we don't fucking sleep like, ah, oh, shit, the fucking land sale was on today. Motherfuckers. You never know, man. You never know, dude. Shit's crazy. We got a lot of shit going on in life. You, you might just fucking say, oh, fuck, man. Wake up, chilling making coffee or something i gotta remember i gotta keep telling myself it's tomorrow dude tomorrow tomorrow all right bro it's tomorrow all right fuck don't forget about that shit i'm about to set an alarm or something yo today's the day bro set your fucking alarm my phone's fucked up too i had my phone for like five years or something crazy to htc Bone? I don't know what the fuck it is, but uh, I want to say banana. It's a banana. 
but it ain't a fucking banana. I don't know what the hell it is. It's something. I've had it for like five years though, dude. Shit is crazy. Time for a new phone and my alarm just doesn't go off. Sometimes I'll set my alarm and it's like, nah, 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 bro. We ain't going off today. You sleep, you're sleeping in today. Sorry. Tell your boss to fuck off. Hey, sorry, boss. Uh, my, my fucking, my, my damn alarm. My phone sucks. But Bitcoin has turned me into a cheap ass bastard. And I don't want to spend no money on a fucking phone. But I'll spend $850 on a Splinterlands land sale. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? It's crazy, man. It's still crazy to me. All right, what am I doing? Am I doing a sea monster? Health up? Or am I going to do... The frostiest frost giant. I need a nine drop. I don't even have a nine drop to play here. Ain't that something? Cracking frost giant. Is this good? This isn't even really good, is it? Eight. All right, whatever. I'll just run. I'll just run this team. I could, yeah, you know, I could have kicked this spirit miner out for the sea monster. That's probably to play. Maybe, maybe the play. So we're hyped up, dude. Land sales, blockchain gaming with land and tokens and just all this crazy shit that's happening is draining the pockets of the players. I mean, I am telling y'all, you have never seen, or at least I can't remember, the amount of money that blockchain games are pulling in. I'm I, all right, I know that people and gaming companies pulling a shitload of money. I mean, don't get me wrong. And blockchain games aren't touching that. But what I'm saying is, let me rephrase that. The amount. Come on, who the fuck? Who the fuck? Stream it. The amount of money that the blockchain games are pulling in per player has to be through the roof it's through the roof per player dude blockchain blockchain game players are fucking spending a shitload of money and i don't even think it's close you got people spending thousands upon thousands of dollars on these games i mean look at me dude 850 dollars, dude i would never spend that shit i mean i'm still like what what the fuck are you doing bro I'm like, yeah, I'm just doing, I'm taking a risk. I'm doing it. My wife's like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Huh? What the fuck? It's crazy to think that you would spend $850 on a game. And that's low. That's low in these games. Like people are like, bitch, 35 people are lining up. Like, take my money. 7,500. Eight, 800 850 that's fucking low dude don't nobody give a fuck about my 850 dollars that ain't shit so it's just crazy you know i mean what is it is it is it saying that this is the future and you know people like this shit is it saying that blockchain gamers are just degenerate gamblers is it saying, you know, I don't know what the fuck is it saying? What's it saying? Is there, is it saying that? I think one of the biggest things that it's saying, no, to be, to be honest, what I think it is, is, and I've been saying this for a little bit, easy come, easy go. That's what it is. You know, easy come, easy go. The, the players here, the people here in the crypto space, you know, you buy in maybe low and it goes up so high. You know, Ethereum was $8, whatever it was when it, when it came out. And I know it was lower than that, but $8 recently, somewhat recently, I'm not sure. People buy in and then it goes out. Everybody's got a shitload of money. So they're like, oh, one ETH. Yeah, it might be $400 now, but I got it when it was, you know, $10. So that's kind of like you got a lot of money in US dollar terms and you're able to sling it around because it didn't take you that long to get it. It didn't really, you didn't have to work that hard to get it. So all these people have money advance champion three let's go 
Are you sure? Yes, yeah, stop asking me. I'm fucking on the way to the top. So that's what I think it is. A lot of that going on. Not that I don't think blockchain gaming is, is good. I love it. I think it's great. I mean, that's pretty much what I do is play these games. You know, I gave up all my traditional games to play blockchain only games. The only game that I still play that isn't blockchain is H Hour, and that's because I'm just such a huge SOCOM fan. I love SOCOM. And I just, I like playing that game. You know, H Hour is a pretty good representation of SOCOM, I think. So I play that. But other than that, man, I play all blockchain games. So I like blockchain games. But I'm just a fucking tightwad, dude. I'm like, how the fuck are these dudes spending? all this money and what the fuck can i get in on that pay me where's my where's my fucking money dude that's what i'm trying to figure out did i put the chicken up front i don't know and of course it's a mix yeah it probably is a little bit of the easy come easy go where people didn't have to work for it they got a lot of money and they're like fuck it also and I've talked about this before, but also people are just irresponsible and they just spend a lot of money. And also people got a lot more fucking money than I do. And I'm fucking poor as shit, I guess, apparently. What the fuck? Where's my money? I'm trying, baby. Pay me. Earn. Trying to make money. But will I ever make money doing videos and doing shit like this? You know, I don't know. My wife talks shit on me and be like, dude, you ain't ever about to do no shit on there. <laughs> fuck, get, give that shit the fuck up. Oh, I didn't even realize this was uh equalizer where everybody gets the high health. Hell yeah, Furious Chicken's the shit on that. If I knew that, I would have played the three drop and the, the ooze, not Medusa. But yeah, my wife talks shit, but I just tell her, shut the fuck up. <laughs> nah I just say look you know I mean who knows I don't know but I'm not just gonna quit and do nothing and say ah oh, well that's not gonna work so let me just do nothing you know I need to replace this habit with something else before I give it up and that's that's kind of been my my thing that I've been doing when I started this thing and when I say this thing I'm not talking about streaming I'm talking about this mentality of I'm about to be wealthy I'm about to be uh, on my own self-sufficient I'm gonna be successful in life and I started that shift that turn in my mind even before I found out Bitcoin so that's kind of cool you know everybody finds out Bitcoin or they get it when they're ready you know you have to be mentally ready okay you have to be mentally ready to understand it. I was already on that maturity switch, that shift, shift in my mindset where I was like, yo, I gotta figure this out. I was starting a business, I was doing something. And I, I was into that business. I was like, ah, you know, I, I thought that the numbers were gonna work in this business because I based it off of a keyword. I was like, oh no, not a keyword. I based it off of the sales. I was like, all right, this company sells this product and they make a um, hundred million or whatever it was. I forget the numbers every year. Then I looked at the keyword and I was like, yeah, people are really searching for this shit. And I, it was like m millions or I don't know what the fuck it was. It was a lot of shit. And I was like, okay, you know, this, this could work. This makes some sense here. Let's do this. And I, I, I chose my niche. I was like, all right, it's going to be on this topic. Here's what it is. But then I realized, oh, yes, people are searching for this, this thing. And this thing is selling. But my niche, my specific part of this is not selling. So it's like, here's an example. I was, I was like, oh, trees. Everybody's searching for trees. Trees are selling like crazy. 
and then I want to come up with a service to stick your dick in a tree okay that's that was my idea and I was like well everybody's searching for trees everybody buys trees the tree industry is huge but then I realized nobody's searching how to put your dick in a tree and I was like fuck I was a stupid idea why didn't I think to search for my specific idea so I was like all right I gotta cancel that I gotta can that no one's searching for how to put your dick in a tree but I couldn't give it up until I had a replacement so I had another idea, another business, which actually I'm still doing to this day, and it's been four years, and I'm still doing that. Like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this business. So it's the same thing with this. You know, I don't want to just stop doing something until I have an answer or a replacement to the habit, because it is all about habits. It's all about daily habits, weekly habits, monthly habits. What are you doing in your day? That's what makes you. You know, if you just sit around and scratch your balls all day and just watch TV, you ain't. You, that's what you're gonna become. You're like an addition. You're like uh, all the things that you do in a day. Add them all up, and that's what the fuck you're gonna get. You're gonna accumulate. You know, you're like a fucking snowball. You're just rolling down a hill of life. And you're just gathering more shit as you go. And if you're not doing anything, if you're just sitting in your house, apartment, bedroom, whatever the fuck you got, smoking weed all day, you know, doing whatever the fuck, eating, watching TV, you know, whatever you're doing, going to work, you know, that's a big thing too, man. You know, I get caught in that trap too. I hated that shit. Just going to fucking work all day. I didn't coming home and not doing anything to advance my life. You know, that's a trap. That's an easy trap, like, dude, because you don't feel like doing shit. It's hard to do. It's fucking hard to do. But you just got to do it, unfortunately, you know? There was a quote on Twitter somewhere, somehow. I don't know. I've seen it somewhere. I wish I would have saved it, but it said something about the irony of getting what you want is that you have to do what you don't want to do to get there. Something like that. You know, and that's just what it is, man. You just got to do things that you don't want to do, but that you know you should do. And starting these daily habits, you know, that's a good way to do it. Have I had any success from these daily habits? You know, no. You know, I take a cold shower every day. I took a cold shower last night at like 1.30 in the morning because I'm a procrastinating motherfucker. And I waited all fucking day. I'm like, man. So it was like one o'clock. I started doing my 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats. I'm like, now I gotta get in this fucking cold ass shower. Like, I don't feel like doing this. I'm tired as shit. Every night it's like that. Like, I don't wanna fucking do that shit. But, I gotta do it. I do it. Do my push ups, my shit, my this, my that. Is everybody fucking banned out here? This is weird. Look, you can't even tell who's banned, who's not on this picture. You can tell here, but just looking at it like this, you can't fucking tell. Right, I'm not going to do dragon. It's always crazy, man. And we'll see, you know, only time will tell. Time will tell, dude. And I'd rather be doing something than doing nothing. I have shield now. He's getting rage. I'd rather be doing something than doing motherfucking nothing and that motivation you know how do you get that mental motivation i don't know i was watching this jordan peterson video on it but i couldn't even pay attention i'm like what the fuck is he saying i gotta go back and watch that shit but i don't know if you can get mentally prepared and mentally motivated to do a bunch of shit that you don't want to fucking do i think the only way to do it is to just set up these physical goals like exercising every day Taking a cold shower every day. Probably meditating every day. You know, you set up all these things that you can actually sit down and fucking do. Even if you fucking half-ass them. Because you will. At least you're still doing them. That's how you get fucking motivated, man. That's it. That's the way. And then eventually, your mind comes around to what your body's been doing. 
and then you're motivated. You're like, damn, I'm starting to see results. Look at my body. I'm starting to look good. Okay, I'm motivated a little bit to do some shit now. Or, you know, I'm starting to make some money. Oh, shit, I'm starting to make some money. I've, I've been doing these videos or I've been doing this video or or, or business or uh, your website or you know, whatever it is the fucking you're doing. I've been making these woodcraft things or, you know, whatever the fuck. Now it's starting to make a little bit of money. You get motivated from that. All right, we just got smashed by the gold team. And then you start to get motivated from doing that. And then that's how you get motivated, you know? That, that's it. That's what I think the way to get motivated is you, you, you start that wheel in motion, that physical wheel of doing things in your life that then make your mind start to get motivated. Other than that, you know, there's really no way because a lot of these motivational videos on YouTube, I don't think they're worth anything. They do motivate you, but what to, they don't motivate you to do anything. They just motivate you and inspire you in your mind, but then you don't do shit. As far as taking the next step, you just have to do it. <laughs> and that's what you fucking have to do. And guess what? You're not going to want to do it. We don't want to do it. But if you <laughs> if you want to make it, man, you just got to force yourself to do that shit. All right, well, that's going to be it for this Friday edition of the stream. Thank you all for watching. Hope everybody has a great day and a great weekend. Catch you all on Monday. Later.